So I'm Meg Fafnoff and theater is my passion. Theater is something that I cannot imagine uh, living without. It's not what I started out thinking I was going to do, having been an English lit and French major in college, having worked in the fashion industry, having had a company called Decoupot, where I did decoupage on flower pots and ceramics. But somehow, I, um, you know, grew up very much in a world of literature and art and opera and um, theater was always beckoning me. So um, upon it, I came. And having had a company called Fiddlehead Theater, which was a uh, regional professional theater company for many years, it was a wonderful thing. And then Fiddlehead ran its course, um, had its run, um, had its final curtain, and many wonderful things were gained and learned and came out of that. But I decided I wanted to bring theater into a broader perspective. And so I started a company called Art Lab. She was really starting to look towards the future and venturing away from Fiddlehead Theater Company. So she was trying to figure out like how to take what her parents, you know, had done throughout their lives and interact theater and art and to just come up with something new, you know, where she could start to dabble in both science and art and find a way to marry the two. Um, so we started, you know, just brainstorming ideas and then we figured out, you know, let's come up with um, a name and she had the idea Art Lab. I work at Art Lab, which is Art Lab Productions, which is a, a theater production company. And that its main goal or mission is to highlight the how art and science intersect. And I think like the, you know, that connection of art and science can, you know, it can be like very broad or very specific. So um, I think we're defining that the way we see it as we go along. Art Lab, to me, is exactly what my company and my lifestyle represent. It's an out-of-the-box approach to getting work done, to, to focusing on the arts, to focusing on other things, and mixing the two. Um, it's one of the reasons why I love working with Meg and why I love working with Art Lab so much is because it, it, it's really an out-of-the-box project. And I, it's an out-of-the-box project, but it's not like obscure. It's not something you don't understand. It's, it, it is a reason why uh, these two things should be together. And it's pretty amazing. Well, I was introduced to Art Lab um, through Nathan and Meg's relationship, actually. Um, I work with Nathan at Showtown Theatricals, which is our general management company. And, um, so, you know, through our work with Meg, I was introduced to Art Lab. So I was really fascinated to learn that there's a company that puts um, theater and art together with medicine and science. Um, and what an interesting thing to do, considering that the arts has such a, an amazing effect on our mental and emotional health. And so to bring all of the wonderful things through nature and science to be understood uh, through the, the live arts, is an incredible thing. You know, just our work with the Show Must Go On show was uh, just a, a pure example of what the company stands for. I mean, we did, we had interviews from doctors, we had inter meditation professionals, we had uh, people in the arts, we had an incredibly diverse uh, group of people telling their stories and, and explaining how they were getting through the pandemic and talking about, and just, and also just, ignoring the pandemic and celebrating the arts and celebrating life. Um, and, 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 and I think that that's a beautiful thing. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is such a, a wonderful organization. Because if you're, if you're doing arts projects that are relating to science and medicine, what kind of therapies can be done within the medical community to help people? And I think it's not just about theater, it's also about that aspect. Um, and that can, you know, we know that it can help you with your mental health and, and I think so many other conditions where the arts lift our spirits. 
And so it'll be interesting to see what happens with Art Lab on the theater side and what happens by using the theater side in the medical and science field instead of just bringing science and medicine to the theater. She wanted something more that just married the idea of what her parents built and her love for theater and her love for art. Um, so that was sort of where the idea for Art Lab came up. It was a way to work with the MBL and the Cape but also to work with other ideas of science and art and blend the two. Um, and I know she's been talking about, you know, possible future projects, you know, that she wants to have like a female scientist, maybe, you know, themed show, um, just different ideas like that where you merge the art and science. I think a lot of the work we're currently doing, you know, it's, um, it's almost like based on something you know we have shame which is written by um uh, mark um governor and disenchanted already like a, a written uh, piece so uh, something i would like for our living the future maybe would be uh, our own original work or writings uh, i know handbag has uh, a couple of ideas um that we are we always say that we want to like flesh them out and for potential production in the future. I see Art Lab in, first of all, in a very wonderful way to speak to where Art Lab has gone in these past six months. I, I see Art Lab getting into a whole new world of movies and film and Art Lab being the producer of a Broadway show, for sure. Um, we're working on different projects and that's gonna happen continuing to work with the MBL uh, to just bring more people to the amazing world of science. And Art Lab continuing to um, not be hemmed in by any one thing, by finding new and exciting directions that integrate some of the things I've talked about, or who knows? Who knows what we'll discover?